Part of the American dream is to become rich. And even though we know that riches don't necessarily bring happiness, we'd sure like to give it a try. Well, St. Ignatius knew from his own experience that being well-connected politically, being good-looking and healthy, traveling in the circles of the rich and powerful, didn't bring him happiness. They brought him sinful pleasure, but left him with an inner emptiness in his spirit. All of us want to be healthy, and health is a good thing, but it doesn't necessarily bring us closer to God. Up to the age of 30, Ignatius was healthy, but when a cannonball shattered both his legs, he spent nine months back at the Loyola Castle healing. During that time, he was spiritually reborn. He fell in love with God, or perhaps a better way to put it would be that he felt God's overwhelming love for him in a new and profound way. Sickness, sickness had brought a radically new perspective on his life. His goals had changed. He wasn't pursuing fame, fortune, and beautiful women. <laughs> he sought a life that would bring him closer to God. He began to see that every good gift from God is ordered to that end, to bring us closer to our Lord. This is the beginning of the spiritual exercises, a workout for our souls. Begin with the end in mind. We come from God and we journey back toward God. We need to use whatever God gives us insofar as it helps us move toward God. Otherwise, we must set it aside if it detracts from our goal. Sound simple? <laughs> simple to understand, difficult to live. And so we pray for the grace to know how deeply we are loved as we seek to fall in love with God the source of all love. Amen? Amen.